Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to an update here on Facebook. An amazing call that I made, and actually, if anyone did my call, uh, which some people did, uh, you know, you're just up huge in this thing. As a swing trade, as a core trade, any day trade that's set up in here today, yesterday, the ones back from the gap. Um, if the market blows over the highs today, which it might, then this will get to the $45 number. And if this doesn't get to 45 today, then it's going to gap up over it Monday morning. There it is. This actually has absolutely no meaning anymore. So it's just going to rally. And there it goes. So the high of this over here is 45 to the penny, and there's nothing stopping this now. And I said that the day of the gap. I said it here. I said it here. And actually, here, it was July 25th. And actually, if, um, at, you know, the interesting thing is, I really, I know how to read trends. And in the trend class I did back in June, the first class that I ever did, I said exactly what Facebook had to do to be an immediate buy, and it did it exactly. And anyone that did that class in June could have done the analysis and done it themselves, could have taken the trade. Ever since then, I've been doing videos showing what it's going to do, but ahead of time, I had it calculated and figured out ahead of time, just like I actually have figured out an Apple as well, except for people are going to have to take the trend class if they want to figure out how to do it for themselves. They have to do the class and learn the information, you know? I mean, I'm doing these videos online to show people that I know how to trade and I'm a good trader, you know, but the thing is, if you want to learn how to do the trades yourself and the information, you got to take the class, the trends class, the golden gap class, and people want to wait to take classes, they're just not going to be able to make money then, you know, if you take the class and learn what to do, you're going to be able to make money. So it pays for the cost of the class and after you learn what to do and you start trading and making money. So it's like, just learn the information. The market wants to pay you if you know what to do. And if you don't know what to do or don't want to pay for a class or don't want to learn properly, then the market is not going to pay you. It's really not that hard of a way to understand the way the market works. The universal laws of the market are you're going to pay the cost to learn the information to trade right, either in a class to someone else or in losses to the market until you figure it out on your own. And I have my hats off to me for figuring it out on my own because it was a long, long road. But now that I know how to do it, there is nothing stopping me. And this, I nailed. I nailed this call. It's, it's just an incredible thing. It's just beautiful. The fact that I even said exactly what I was going to do within four cents was just like almost astounding to myself. And even watching this here now, I'm not in this right now. You know, there's been day trades in this all along, but I don't do core overnights. But, you know, after seeing this thing here, I'm sitting here thinking, why didn't I take this as a swing trade? I guess, you know, over the last year and a half or two years or so, I've been calculating and figuring out myself how to exactly do that as far as my own risk management. Um, but if you took a thousand shares of this this day, a thousand shares of this to stay at the gap, if you had, couldn't do that overnight unless you understood gaps, you'd be up over 10 grand today. You'd be up $11,000 today. And you were never down any money since the day of the gap. And even if you only took 100 shares, you would have made 1100 bucks today, holding it through on the day of the gap. And 100 shares of this is only you know $1,600 in buying power that you would have even used a two to one on the day of the gap. And obviously, 1,000 shares is more, but still 1,000 shares would only have been 15000 in buying power. You know? So people talk about leverage. Leverage is a good thing. Leverage is a great thing. Leverage helps you make money. You can't trade with leverage or trade at all unless you know what to do. But if you know what to do, the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit. You have to have conviction. Conviction in what? Conviction in the gaps. How am I able to do these things? How am I able to read this stuff? How am I able to see these things? How am I able to read everything and see it in the chart? I am very good at reading charts. And more importantly than that, I know how to rate gaps. I know how to read gaps. I know how to trade gaps. I know how to rate gaps. And that is it. As far as I'm concerned, there is no other way to consistently make money in the market to any level of amount of money. Real serious money in the market. As one individual person, I believe the only way to make it is gaps. You must understand how to trade gaps. It's the only thing that has any clarity.
It's the reason I'm able to trade so well. So let's look at this from today and yesterday. So, you know, I really, really, really like to go short. And I was talking about this today. One of the reasons is this kind of stinky little tail action here that happened yesterday. This was a great immediate buy yesterday. Boom, you got to be out. These kind of late trades, they look beautiful. They set up. Everything's great. It breaks over the high. And then a tail comes in here. Remember, the reason that I love to go short is because people have no compunction and no hesitation in selling out of something if they want to be out of it. It, it, it doesn't go away if you're in a long. You're in a long, people are up money, they want to sell out of it, they sell out of it. And what happens is then if people are in this and the stops here and they're in it waiting to, to go to the target, which it did go higher than on the day and then went to the target today, but the bottom line is if they're in here waiting and trying to be patient, they get stopped out when somebody wants to sell. And then the people here get stopped out and the people that here that want to sell and then it creates this big bar, but it's still intact. And the buy then really was here into the lunchtime period or better here even still into two o'clock yesterday and the lift on through. This didn't go anywhere. This is typical of longs, which is why I don't like to do them. They'll do tails and ding you out constantly. On the short side, I can trade on the short side all day long, and this kind of stuff doesn't happen to me, you know. And it's just because things go down faster than they go up. It's just the way it is. And they don't jerk around to the downside. They jerk around like this to the upside because people sell out when they're up. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's so, trading on the short side is a cleaner way to trade with a better risk to reward just because of the way that things move and work, okay? Understanding price action. Anyways, this is a beautiful buy-in here yesterday. Follow-through happened immediately. Almost even swooshed up, I think. Did it swoosh up yesterday? Yeah, it did. There it is. <laughs> Beautiful swoosh on this yesterday. Whoop. So anyways, today then was a top entry on this. If you didn't have the support area, right, guess where it was? The exact number from yesterday, 4240. You could have bought it into support, into the support area when it held with at reversal time. And guess what? With the market. Because the market wasn't a short and isn't a short and isn't going down. And the market, when the market ran into the support area and bounced, Facebook did the exact same thing. And at the number, and it was an immediate buy. And you could have bought it here aggressively with a beautiful entry. It's ran up. And it'd be hard to even stick through this now as a day trade. You got to be out of this. It was a beautiful call, but you got to be out. You know, it's too hard to hold this now all day. And this really is a stinky buy here at lunchtime. But it's just going to rally itself up. I may deal with some kind of crazy tail down in here in the 15 before it gets up to 45 today. This, this will do it today if the market blows over the highs. I just don't know if that's going to happen here on a Friday afternoon, you know, a couple days after the holiday. But beautiful call I made on Facebook. The numbers on this are pristine. Every single one of them, every time it hits and does everything it's supposed to do. And even before this would happen in here, this just right in here, I was I was looking at this and I said, this is getting ready to blow. And it, and it hadn't blown yet. I thought it might blow yesterday. It rallied, had a beautiful, beautiful day to it that it's blowing today. I saw it this morning. It was this morning here. I saw it pre-market. Pre-market this morning, I saw the market and I saw Facebook and I said, this is it today. This is the buy today. Now, the fact that this came in immediately doesn't matter. It, it, it just rallied off itself. It just came right down into itself. This is an example of institutional money. This is an example of institutional power. This is an example of everything I was talking about in the webinar the other day. Look at the green bars. They're very evident here on the 15-minute chart. This is institutional buying. This is institutional buying. More buying and more buying. Buying, buying. Fat green bars. Look at them here in the 5, on the 15, on the daily. It's better to see actually in the 15-minute than on the daily. Today might be the biggest day this thing ever has to the upside, except for this one here, which was the extension was almost three, not quite three dollars, two seventy here on this day into the continuation of this move. Today the low is forty two forty. If it gets to forty five, yeah, it'll be at about close to the same size of the bar as this guy here. Now all of a sudden everybody's coming out saying this is going to fifty fifty five. All these people are doing upgrades and saying it. The day of the gap, I said it was going over the highs and going to fifty before the end of the year, and probably 65, possibly before the end of the year. And in a year from now, the stock price doubles without a shadow of a doubt. So if anybody did my call on this and bought the day of the gap, just hold it. Hold it if you don't need the money. Hold it for a core trade. This is a great buy. And how did I know all of these things? Because of the gap. So if you are interested in learning how to trade and 
making money in the market and want to actually learn how to do it so you can make money yourself, then you can email me and sign up for my gap class. The, the next one in September, the fall class, is September 14th and 15th. The cost of the class is $24.99. If you're interested, email me at melissa at thestockswitch.com. I know how to see these things before they happen, and it's because I know how to read gaps. I know how to read gaps and rate gaps in a very unique way. I look at 26 things on the daily chart of a stock. That is an enormous amount of level of detail, and it's how I'm able to see these things before they do it and when they do it and in live time. This is real money to be made for anybody that wants to learn the correct way to trade. The opportunity is there if you want to do it. It's there for the taking, but you do have to know how. And there's value in information, you know? That's why I'm charging for my time in a weekend to teach for two days straight, you know? So if you're interested, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. And feel free to reach out to me. Have a great weekend, everybody. Facebook, beautiful.